Hello students, in this video we'll see how to linearize a nonlinear equation around critical points to determine their stability. Let's consider the following nonlinear equation. Consider the nonlinear system x prime of t is 1 plus x, x plus y, and y prime of t is 2 minus x, x minus y. Now we can foil these out to simplify a little bit. I'll have an x plus y and an x squared and an xy. Over here I will have a 2x minus 2y, a negative x squared, and a positive xy. So I'd like to first find the critical points of this system. So the critical points can be found by setting these functions equal to zero. Well, the first equation can be made equal to zero if x is equal to negative one. So if x is negative one, x prime will be zero. And if x is negative one, this term becomes a three, which will force this term to be zero. So I will have negative one minus y equals zero. That will force y to be negative one. So the first critical point we have is negative one, negative one. Next, I can have x equals 2, and that will make my second equation equal to 0, and this equal to 3, and then the first equation will become 2 plus y equals 0, which will force y to be equal to negative 2. So my next critical point will be 2, negative 2. Finally, I can have both of these terms be zero. I can have x plus y equals zero and x minus y equals zero. That's the final case. So x plus y and x minus y can both be zero simultaneously. And if I add these equations together, I'll get that 2x is equal to zero, which will force x to be zero. And if x is zero, y must be zero as well. So I get the critical point of zero, zero. So I have three critical points. And I will classify their stability by linearization. So recall now that the linearized system at a point AB is the following approximate system. It is x minus A, y minus B prime is the matrix fx, fy, gx, gy at the point a, B, X minus A, Y minus B. Where the F function is the function that is X prime, and the G function is the function that is Y prime. So let's, can, let's choose one of the critical points and classify its stability by the linearization. So at 0, 0, we will have that our system is approximately x, y, prime, prime, is approximately. Now I'll need to compute the derivatives of these things at 0, 0. So let's do the calculation over here. fx will be 1 plus 2x plus y. fy will be 1 plus x. gx will be 2 minus 2x and then plus y and gy will be negative 2 plus x. Now we do our approximation. So when I plug in the critical point 0, 0 to fx I will get 1 and then I will get a 1 for fy. For g of 0, 0, I will get a 2. And for gy of 0, 0, I will get a negative 2. So at the origin, my system is approximated by this linear system. To determine the stability, we'll compute the eigenvalues of this system. The eigenvalues are found by computing the determinant of our matrix 1 minus lambda 1, 2, 
negative 2 minus lambda and setting that equal to 0. So what I will have is I will have a lambda minus 1 and a lambda plus 2 and then I'll have a minus 2 equals 0. Simplifying this out, I will have a lambda squared. I'll have a negative lambda and a plus 2 lambda, so that'll be a plus lambda. And I'll have a minus 2 and a minus 2, which is a minus 4 equals 0. Now we can use the quadratic formula to find the values of lambda. Lambda, by the quadratic formula, will be negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4ac all divided by 2. If we simplify this, I have negative 1 plus or minus. I have 1 plus 16. 1 plus 16 is the square root of 17. All divided by 2. Now, negative 1 plus root 17. Negative 1 plus root 17 is a positive number. And negative 1 minus root 17 is a negative number. So my eigenvalues, I have a positive and a negative eigenvalue. And that implies that 0, 0 is a saddle point. I can proceed in the exact same fashion to classify the critical points negative 1, negative 1, and 2, negative 2 by computing the linearization and finding the eigenvalues of linearization. Thank you very much.